have quite a few people already in. Hi everyone, Tessa here with the marketing team for Idea Pros. I have Fred Carey, co-founder and executive chairman of Idea Pros with me today. And we have lots of great things to cover today. So just um, wanna say hi to everyone. If you could take one second, just uh, put in the comments on this post, your name and where you are at. And actually we already have a couple people that have commented. So we have 10 people on right now. And uh, so we have Sean Reed and Russell Holmes. I'm just gonna say hi to everyone here. Yay, okay, mm -hmm. I'm excited. So Sean says hi and he's looking forward to the live broadcast. Thank you again, Sean, for sharing it. I know he consistently pushes it out for us. So we appreciate yeah. you. Thank you so much. And if you haven't, you know, push it out right now, let people know to hop on. Um, this is a really fun subject today. I mean, going viral with your product launch is something everyone wants to do. So I'm excited to cover this topic for sure. And let me just get everyone again. Oh, okay. So hi, Bert. We have Bert and Michael Ryan from Massachusetts. Oh, we have so many people coming in. So hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us. We're just going to take a couple seconds. If you just hop in just now, just say your name and where you're, um, where you're watching this from. Christine, nice to have you on again. Thank you all so much. Carlos out in Farmsville. Awesome. And Ernest, guys, thank you so much for hopping on. Ernest needs a shave. <laughs> Aziza. Hey, Aziza. Hi, everyone. And then we have our ideas pro, pro, idea pros team on as well, so they'll be able to help you and uh, get all of the the really fun nuggets from our from our live today. Oh. Cody, nice to have you on. <laughs> the, man, the man, the myth, and the legend. <laughs> Say that awesome. I'm dead. <laughs> Thank you, I, everyone, so much for joining today. We are talking about a very, uh, a very um, critical topic, but it's also a really fun one, and that's how to launch your product and go viral. So I'm going to actually uh, pull up a couple, tied uh, just a couple things here because we have so many people still saying hi. Let me go ahead and. Oh, and Tess, did you get the, the two things I sent you that we're going yes. to give away? Yep, yep. I have our, we have some really cool bonuses that Fred sent over, which I think are just, it's amazing the information that Idea Pros provides for us to help us in this process of launching our products and apps. Uh, and today there are two very, very good ones that we'll, we will make sure to put in the chat. If you can stay all the way to the end, I'm going to put them in at the, at, you know, towards the end of this broadcast because we'd love to have you guys engage in the conversation with us. So it, put your comments in the in the comment field. Let us know your questions. We want to be able to make this interactive, and we'll do our best to get everyone in. Uh, we do have questions that were submitted ahead of time for this topic, and so if uh, so, we have three we will cover, but we do listen and we do read all of them. So please uh, continue to submit your questions and topics that you would want us to cover on these lives, uh, because we get to pin brain, pin Fred's brain down for um, a half hour in the and really uh, get the most out of the time with them. So Fred, um, what can you tell us a little bit about the launch process and what, uh, what that entails? Yeah, so you know the typical entrepreneur will uh, get their product ready, um, have a really cool looking website and turn the lights on and nothing happens uh, because you can't just assume that just because you have the best stuff presented in the best way that anybody's even going to know about it. So the, the real secret to launching is do not launch until you already have your audience. And that's what we'll be talking about um, more today. In fact, at the end, I'm going to give you an example of what idea pros is doing with, uh, with its partners. But uh, the point is you build up your audience. You don't sell anything, get people interested. And then when you have enough people, 
then you can launch. And I'll talk more about that, as I said, in a second. Wonderful. So if we were to break down, uh, looking at the, the actual, I guess, prepping for, can you kind of uh, elaborate a little bit on that? Yes. The first thing you can do is be a real pain in the butt to everybody you know. I mean, talk to strangers on the bus if you uh, have spent all your money uh, trying to build your startup and uh, you have to take the bus. Uh, but anybody that you come in contact with, your friends, Aziza is on here. She has um, uh, a mailing list already of several thousand people that she's been nurturing one at a time. And it's really important for entrepreneurs to start with that nucleus of really dedicated people, your friends, your family, your coworkers, uh, people that you have as acquaintances, your Facebook friends, Instagram friends. It doesn't take much to get those people to talk about you. And you, you really don't really need to ask for anything. You need to say that you're gonna give something. And I'm, I'm gonna go into how this makes it a really easy process for people to start spreading the word about you and about your company and about the day you're going to launch. So the, 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 the key here is to start building that momentum so that when you turn the lights on, when you open those doors, there's a whole crowd of people waiting to come inside. Excellent. Actually, I'm just getting a bunch of questions here on the live, so I'm trying to to kind of grab all of these. Uh, so I guess it has um, to work really well under fire, so you can see her still I, smiling and. I know. <laughs> I mean, these are all great. I mean, amazing questions. So you're talking about having your email list and really uh, building your base. I mean, you don't have to give away the the launch is something you kind of keep secret like you said until you've tested it you've you know that it's ready um so is it, when you're building your email list you're promising something that they could get some some little maybe they're even getting in on the process a little early for them to get um to get access to it do you do and this is one of those questions um do you do betas for the products you recommend betas uh well Certainly for the app products, we recommend betas. Um, for a regular consumer product, we do a lot of A-B testing of the website and uh, the presentation of the product or products to make sure that when we do go live, we're going to have the best uh, capabilities. And, and there are many programs on the internet that can help you with that, okay? Got it. Yeah, yeah there was another question before that one. Uh, <clears throat> about the email lists and nurturing them and what you give people. So you don't give people anything right away. What you need to do, just like anything else, you need to start building that excitement, the curiosity, the momentum. Uh, you start out with, look, please, I've been working for five years on this thing. I really believe in it, and I would really love if you could just support me, become my friend, try to get other friends of yours on Facebook to, to come and like my page too. Uh, right then and there, it's just that personal relationship. You know, do something nice for me, pretty much. You don't have to spend any money, just do something nice for me and start spreading the word. That's how it starts. And then when you start getting enough of an audience, let's say four or 500 people even, uh, then you can start talking about a little bit about the, the, the product. You know, I'm, I'm so happy that I have so many friends here to share this with. It's really important to me. We have this new product and my new company is going to be launching it probably in three or four months. And uh, I really want you to stay tuned and be supported. A month later, or two weeks later, you could have um, another post. You could even have a video of uh, work in progress, you know, or a short video of you just reviewing something on your computer about the product. You know, we're getting closer, we're getting closer. And you don't really actually offer anything until you're a month or two away from launching. Um, and wh when you offer something, it needs to be something that makes people feel comfortable. Okay, you, look, guys, you've followed me for this long. You've expressed great enjoyment with what I'm doing and, and, and a lot of curiosity about the product. So here's what I'm going to do for you. You know, I'm going to give you something. I'm not asking you for anything. I want to give you guys major discounts because you've been following me. 
all this time so that when I launch, I'm going to make sure that you get whatever products you want at half off. And um, I, I really love that loyalty. In fact, I'm going to reward that loyalty even more because the more of your friends that you introduce to me, the, the more discounts and perks that you can get. So right now, I just need you to register. I just need you to put down your email address. I'll give you a link. And with that link, you can go tell all your friends. And for every friend that comes to me, you'll be rewarded. So this is me giving it to you because you've been loyal. I love that too, because it's really important for us to connect with our, our audience uh, and to bond with them, having that relationship and mm -hmm. really getting getting on their level as far as that product and helping them to understand how you help. And then when you right. do, you create super fans and super fans are the ones that are gonna actually help you to do that viral part. They're the ones that are gonna share for you, that are gonna you know, be with you uh, you know, on every live. Like we have super fans right now on this broadcast. Thank you so much super fans for being here consistently every time to learn and grow and and make your product um, product launch super successful. So, um, so if you are creating super fans, you're connecting with them, you're doing, um, you're engaging with them, you're getting them into your list, you're kind of uh, getting that pre-interest and building up your audience. Uh, and then you are giving them something, you know, an incentive to share. And, and we'll talk more about that at the end of this, uh, but we are, you know, giving them a little bit and getting them in, invested in your product. I think that's the biggest thing is getting them invested in your product. So all of that, you've built your list, you're, you've got this awesome audience that's interested and they're ready to engage. Like, how do you know when you're ready to launch your product or app? Yeah, so it's all about the numbers, right? And uh, I'll give you a roundabout answer, as uh, I often do with you. <laughs> I apologize and try to get over it, but I like to tell stories. Um, Harry's Razors is a good example that I use a, a lot in, in how to really do a good launch. And you guys can look it up afterwards. How did Harry's Razors, Razors launch? And the very first thing you'll see is they got 100,000 email addresses in one week. Uh, but that's just part of the story. They didn't just do that. They first nurtured the same people I'm telling you to nurture. They spent two or three months really pounding on doors, begging their friends, getting this community. And so when they, when they were ready to, to start this campaign to gather email addresses, they already had 1,000, 2,000 people who are close and who want to see you succeed. And so with Harry's, <coughs> they got their 100,000. They ended up, I think, getting almost a, a million email addresses before they launched, and, uh, and it was an immediate success. Another company, Mint.com, they spent nine months nurturing their audience and making sure they had what they needed so that when they went live, it was all good. And that's really a... a big mistake that entrepreneurs make. They, they just, you know, I just want to be live. I don't care. I want to be live. Well, you're going to be live and then, you, and then you're going to be suicidal uh, after that because there's just, there's not going to be much happening if you haven't prepared. So uh, launching is just like anything else. You have to, uh, if you have a hot dog stand, if you have a, a new grocery store, you have to advertise, right? People aren't just going to show up there and the launch process uh, there's a digital way of advertising, obviously, with, with e-commerce and on, online uh, offerings. And the, the way that you build that audience is by consistently messaging, giving them little bits of information, keeping them excited, uh, having them be more and more curious. That's where you get the numbers. And so when do you know it's time to launch? Well, when you can look at your email list and you can see that you have thousands of people there. Um, you should know that let's suppose 10,000 people signed up for your email address. If we're really lucky, maybe 500 of them can make a buy decision almost immediately. But that's pretty darn cool. 500 people buying from your store almost right away. And, and what does that do? That gives you momentum because when those people buy, they talk, especially if you offer them something else. Joe, you've been great for me. I'm giving you 50% off. 
just go on the site today. Here's your link. You go on the site, it's 50% off. And by the way, Joe, since you've been so incredibly awesome and now you bought this, here's another link where if you invite three more of your friends, you can get one of our free backpacks or you can get uh, a Raw Beauty Co. t-shirt, for example, uh, or hat, or just you know keep that prize camaraderie element into it. And, and you have, especially Tessa, you're talking about the, the kind of super fans of the page, especially those type of people will really go out and work their butts off for you because they believe in you, they believe in what you're doing, and they want they want to see you succeed because when you succeed, there's a measure of success that that those people feel as well. Now, yeah. another thing that entrepreneurs do is, is they panic when you want to uh, gamify, for example. Oh, like I was going to talk about gamifying, actually. <laughs> I'm sorry, you might, I'll pretend I didn't say anything, and you can get no, back no, to it. No, it's fine because it's an important. To, I think it's a fun. It's a really fun. I'll let you talk about it because it is so awesome. <laughs> right. So. I'm going to show you an example of that. Well, I'll show you a partial example of that shortly. Uh, but gamifying is giving people more and more things based upon how many people they send to you. And this is, again, pre-launch, right? And so uh, some entrepreneurs will freak out because you're doing things like up to 50% off and, and you're having – and idea pros is uh, about ready to do this and, and we'll show you in a little bit but you have contests you have thousands of dollars of prizes if people get to certain levels okay and when an entrepreneur looks at that they think oh my god how am i going to do that you know i'm going to have to go to my credit card get a thousand dollars out of my credit card to go buy gift cards to give to people well how you do it is you stack it and so if you sign up you get 25 percent off immediately no matter what don't forget you're the one that's that's setting the 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 retail price so that price point needs to be adjusted to the point where you're not going to be losing money at 25 per, percent off you <coughs> you're gaining people right so next step if you gain if you send me five or more people you get 35 percent off if you send me 10 or more people you get 45 percent off if you send me 25 you get 50% off and you get to enter into a contest where you can win up to two or $3,000 worth of prizes. That keeps the momentum going. People love games, you know, and, and they, they, you have an audience that loves to support you and now you have an audience that loves games and they play off each other and they, they want to compete, especially if you have a leaderboard, you show, you know, Joe P from Minnesota has got, you know, 300 people he's referred and you have that leaderboard going it really keeps people interested and it continues to build excitement because they go back uh every couple of days to see how many people have i referred what's my prize level and that keeps the momentum going so when you're at a point where you have a sufficient number of people and a sufficient number of those super fans right the harry's razors for example uh, when they get their hundred thousand people um, those 100,000 people were generated really from a base of about 20,000 people. But for, within that base of 20,000 people, probably 5% of that total audience was responsible for 50 or more people that they referred. And those are the creme de la creme. You know, you want to look for people like that and put them on your side because you know they have a lot of friends, they have a lot of influence. And so therefore, you want to make sure that you have your list with not only 2,000 people, for example, but out of those 2,000 people, you have 10 or 20 super fans that really have gone out of the way that, that have introduced 25 or more of those people to you. Because you can nurture that type of uh, person differently than the rest of the audience. Most of the audience is happy with discounts. The super fan lots of time wants to get some some acclaim because they deserve it. You know, they've they worked extra hard for you. So you build up a, a closer relationship with them. <clears throat> Absolutely. Well, the other, I mean, we talk about those in, we use super fan, but that also is an, an influencer. So influencer outreach is really important for your brand. So finding out who it is that is uh, working with your target audience now, uh, you know, in, in a, what I call peanut butter and jelly kind of, <laughs> 
mar marketing sense, right? So you can go together with them. You're not competing. It's a natural, um, you know, a symbiotic re relationship between the two of you. Um, find those influencers and start getting, you know, connecting with them and offering more value to those people, like you said, through the gamifying, which I love. I love the idea of gamifying. It works in in all areas. I mean, sales particularly too. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah. it is really important for us to to pull those people in. And I'm so so excited. There's a couple things that we can also do in a launch that we were going to save till the end. So I'm actually going to uh, let you know that you um, we can actually make the big announcement that Fred uh, wanted to announce today. But before I do that, because I'm just going to keep you guys in suspense, um, Aziza actually had mentioned that uh, building up some suspense in your business and in the launch is really valuable. And now I can't find the comment, but I know that she, uh, anticipation has definitely uh, gotten her followers excited to see what's next. We are doing that right now with uh, Idea Pros and their big announcement. So I'll let you take the floor, Fred. <laughs> yeah, so let me, let me go back to um, uh, your social media influencers. They are going to be key because think about it. Let's suppose you've worked for three months, four months, you've collected 10,000 email addresses. If you get the right influencer involved, they can broadcast out to 500,000 people in one day. And so the value of the right influencer that will work with you within your budgetary needs uh, is, is priceless. And so when we get ready to launch, uh, it's a little different with Idea Pros because we have several partners. Uh, <clears throat> in fact, we have 14 partners that are getting ready to launch in hours. And, uh, and so we have two levels of uh, influencers that we need to work with. The first level of influencers, kind of more the generalist, the people that entrepreneurs uh, follow, people that people love gadgets and new products follow, people who want to do better in their, their own lives that, that have this kind of, I want to know how to do it, fear it, because those are the types of people that will really support you. And then secondary, when you are ready to launch, launch, uh, then we have influencers that are specific. Uh, Aziza, we're picking on you today, uh, but for Aziza's company, Raw Beauty Co., uh, when, it, when we've collected enough email addresses, then we're going to go and deal with people who are fashion, lifestyle, beauty type influencers and get them involved. It doesn't take much to get momentum. Now, when you get that momentum, there's two things that can kill you. Not having a product that is as advertised and not being able to deliver that product, right? And, and <clears throat> part of the mantra here at Idea Pros is don't build anything until you already have an audience that's out pre-buying what you have. So the danger in that is when you're not clear with your audience, they're going to be disappointed. They're going to start asking for refunds and it's going to put a real black mark on you as an organization. So you need to be really uh, critically aware of what it's going to take for you to get product. I need X number of dollars. I have this many days lead time. <clears throat> and I have to then ship to my customers. So you figure out what all those things are. And there's nothing wrong with saying, listen, delivery is expected in 90 days. And when you get towards that 90 days and maybe it's going to be another 30 days, guys, good news and bad news. We're delayed by 30 days, but I'm throwing in this extra gift or this extra case or something for the extra time. You can keep them loyal as long as you keep them informed, okay? Um, and it's not just startup companies. Look at Tesla. Uh, you know, people were lining up to pre-order Teslas a year before they came out. So people have that mentality. You just have to make them feel warm and comfortable with who you are, what you have, and your ability to deliver a premium product when you say you're going to. Absolutely. 
Well, and that's the exciting part is watching Idea Pros bring all this to life because we get to see them launch products, you know, one after another, like successful product launches, and, and they help the partners to do this whole process. Uh, so you don't have to go at it alone. That's one of the big benefits of working with Idea Pros. Um, so I, if you want, we can kind of show your special launch before we run out of time because i know i'm trying to keep this at 30 minutes or less so you guys can do this on your lunch <laughs> so so what we decided to do with idea pros is to really have a at the at the end just as people are getting ready to go live to have an incubator type program where we can drive a lot of traffic create a lot of interest and get people commenting this is <coughs> excuse me in a sense the beta testing somebody was asking about earlier commenting on the product, leaving their name, gamifying everything. And then when we got the audience we need, boom, we start all over again. Mr. Jones, here's your 50% discount. The website's live and uh, go over there and have fun. So, um, so we put together something called the Idea Pros Launch Pad. And in that launch pad, we're going to be featuring new products as they come out. Um, <clears throat> we're going to be launching in just Four hours, 36 minutes, and 40 seconds. <laughs> okay. So this is our launch pad. Um, by the way, that is uh, our engineering group, Empire Engineering, in the background. Um, they have, I believe, the facility is about 50,000 square feet. We do everything there from design work to prototyping, uh, even manufacturing a subset of the products. They just spent a half a million dollars on an HP 3D printer. So there's a lot of work that can be done uh, right in there. So. <clears throat> yep, sorry, I'm gonna show that on the big screen here. Screen. Okay. <laughs> so in any event, um, if you spread the word, this is gonna have, as I said, the first 14 of our products later today. Um, there's a lot of prizes. There's up to 50% off on any product. There are up to $5,000 in prizes. And I believe the way the marketing team decided to do it is once a month, the end of every month, there'll be those, those prize giveaways too. So you'll have your discounts are built in for, for when the product launches, but the, the actual cash prizes, which are in the form of gift, gift cards, happen every single month until we go live. So it's a lot of fun. Uh, you're supporting fellow entrepreneurs. Uh, you're supporting people who, uh, woke up one day and uh, said, you know, I don't want this nine to five job anymore. I want to do something different. I want to take a risk. I want to believe in me, trust in me. And oh, by the way, I find a really solid partner that can help me navigate these things. But fundamentally and ultimately, it's up to the entrepreneur to hit that ball out of the park. And we're there, we're the coach, we're lining everything up. I think we've got a great team in place. And uh, I'm really excited to see what we do with this launch. Now, when I know you, I know you want to stop. I just want to make no, you're fine. <laughs> well, we else? still have yeah. 20 people on right now, so I, I think I think they kind of are wanting a little bit more from you. If there was like a little, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, encore feature in here, they would probably give you that right now. If anybody goes, they're not invited back again. Uh, so. <laughs> So when we go live here in just a few hours, we're going to do a soft launch, right? We have our social media influencers lined up. We have an email list of over 20,000 people. Plus we have individual uh, email lists, uh, lists like Aziza's. Um, we're not really reaching out to those people yet. And we're not really doing a lot of Facebook advertising yet. Why? You want to make sure everything's working right. So do a soft launch, get it live, have some of the closest friends and, and partners go on there and start playing with it, putting in their email addresses, getting their reward levels going. And then once you've spent three or four days, in our case, the weekend, uh, then Monday or Tuesday, then we're going to start blitzing everything. And now we'll do a lot of Facebook advertising. We'll be doing paid advertising. We'll be sending out to that 20,000 email list. We'll be having... We have about five different influencers. We're gonna stagger the posts that they make day after day. So there's always something going on and something interesting happening. So it's a process and you need to treat it like a process. It is Don't a process, but we have our our uh, soft launch, our super fans, our trusted friends in this 
pod, you know, in this live right now. So this is a great way to get connect with your audience and make sure that you've got, you know, you're testing with the right people. So, you know, all of the, we have so many people that popped in towards yeah. the end, like Katie Kay, and um, I think we have Cody Knighton and a couple other, Derek Moody. I mean, all of you guys are our trusted friends. We're inviting you into this launch. We're inviting you into kind of like peek behind the doors. And um, Fred does have some resources that I will put in the, I promised I would put them in. I'm going to put them into the the comments on this um the stream so that you guys have them. But Fred, can you just tell them a little bit about those, the resources that we're making available to them? <laughs> yeah, there's two things. One is a link to um, the 26 videos that Idea Pros thinks you should watch. And that talks all about launching, advertising, how to, how to work with Facebook, Instagram, uh, everything you can think of. It's 26 videos. Most of the videos are 15 minutes, 20 minutes. If you're serious about being successful, you need to watch it. Grab some popcorn and, and, and get it done. The other thing uh, I've sent is a little subset of the ebook that all of our partners get. And this just deals with launching. It's seven pages, but it goes into a lot of depth about the things that we're talking about. And so um, it's basically uh, going to be in a little booklet form. And yeah, and just so you know, to get that, please comment and let us know that you want to receive that. We'll send it by Messenger. So we'll get that over to you. And that way you also, through Messenger, can get updated on when we go live. So just to message me in the in the comments here on this live that you want to get the ebook, and I will get that over to you guys. Yep, and just like our website on the Launchpad, everything's free. Just uh, give your email address and uh, and then let's help us make the magic happen. Help us help you. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys so much. Um, I appreciate you all hopping on. And uh, I'll take a couple minutes after just to say hi on Facebook and make sure you guys all know um, we look at what you submit. We look at the questions and we want to make everything um we want to give you guys the resources you need to launch your products and apps. So visit ideapros.com. The blog at ideapros.com slash blog has tons and tons of information. And if you're interested in getting started, there's a start now button on the website uh, and you can start the process, get get your products launched and uh, product or app or idea <laughs> launched. Yeah. And by the way, by the way, um, uh, if you don't want a partner, we also have a, a booklet in there of how to do it yourself. It's pretty I, overwhelming. You know, I've used the example before. You get two guys going to the paint store. They both get the same supplies. They both go home and paint for a week. And Joe gets 300 bucks from his mom and Picasso gets 40 million. And it's the same supplies and everything. So although you'll learn everything you need to do, you may not know what to do when you once you have it. So or it might uh, take a lot of time and money to do it that way. So going yeah. at it alone, just you know, you can do it, but it might take a lot more time and money. So yeah. <laughs> but the people who decide that I'd rather that they do it right. And that's why we give these materials for free. Uh, you don't have to be our partners, but our partners get a lot of other things that that, that other people don't. And stay tuned to the lives because we are giving away it's a high value. I mean, that's what I love about Idea Pros is that they're just, they are giving you the, they're giving you all the pieces that you need to make this happen. So uh, connect with us and we will make sure that you stay informed on the newest topics. So uh, if you have any questions, let us know in the chat or uh, connect with us on Messenger on Facebook. Work hard, don't sleep. <laughs> No wonder I have bags under my eyes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. We'll Thank see you. you see you again soon. See you. Bye-bye. Okay. There we are. We're still Are we, we are, I think. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs>